8.42 a.m. Saturday, June 1st. And uh, it's already rained about uh, three quarters of an inch, maybe a little more. Uh, and uh, so it's raining outside, so I guess I won't be doing nothing outside until after the rain stops. It's still raining, so we'll see. Well, it looks like the storm is more, uh, pretty much over, or almost almost over from in my area. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say it's more than uh, two thirds past. So, but we still got some more rain to come. Okay, this is a pretty widespread rain. Yeah, it looks like everybody got a little bit in our, in our area. Okay. Anyway, I got about, so far I got about three quarters, so by the time it's all over, I might have an inch. Maybe a little more. We'll see. Okay. I'll check back later. Catch you later. Yeah, I zoomed in on the weather map and uh, radar map, whatever they call it. And uh, yeah, we still got some rain coming. So it's not over yet. And right now it's about uh, 8.50 a.m. on uh, Saturday, June 1st. All right, uh, I'll check back later. Uh, here's the weather forecast. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, hopefully there's some better weather coming for making hay next week. Starting about Thursday. We'll see. Well, it's just after 9 a.m. and it's still raining. It's a slow, steady rain, so it's all right. They call this a soaker. Yeah. yeah. I, I beat my cat to the punch. He was ready to jump on me from the car, but I started. To, I reached out and started petting him, and now he's now he's content not jumping on me. Yeah. I I turned the. Uh, I turned the thing over because I wanted to get some rain. <laughs> uh, hopefully that won't eat it while it's uncovered. Or the sweet, sweet potatoes, I mean, something's been eating my sweet potatoes. You even dug the potato out of the ground. Could have been a rabbit, I guess. I saw a rabbit out here the other day, so it could be a rabbit. I don't know if rabbit digs stuff up or not. Anyway, uh... Yeah, we're getting a nice soaker. Oh! I took my hand off the cat, and look what happened. He jumped on me. I'm in the car. Yeah, I'm leaning against it right now. Oh, you just had to jump, didn't you, boy? Yeah. Never get enough of me. Oh, cute cat. Sometimes you get on my nerves. Yeah. He's such a baby. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the west side and see what it looks like over there. Uh, yeah. I don't know what time it started raining, but my brother sent me a text sometime this morning, uh, and he said the power went out at 4 a.m. Came back on at 5. Of course, I was asleep, so I didn't know. Anyway, cat, can't, can't you leave me alone? for just a little while. Okay, I gotta go to the west side. All right, so I just catch clawing me now. Catch you later. Yeah, not much I can do today until after it stopped raining. I was gonna, I was planning to let the cattle into the pasture by the road to so start eating that tall grass there. And, uh, I ain't gonna do it right now. I'll, wait. I'll do it after it stops raining. 
I don't want to get wet if I don't have to. I was also going to work on that wheel. I was going to try to get that repaired. Oh, swallows are flying around. There's a nest underneath my carport. Yeah. I tried to leave them alone because they eat bugs. I wouldn't think there's too many bugs out in the rain, but they're flying around. Okay, I'm going to get another view. Yeah, I can still probably work on that, but uh, not while it's raining, though. Yeah, I want to I wanna stay dry as much as I can. Okay, it can wait. There's one of the swallows in that. I think there's two. I know that one has one. Another one here. Oh, that one looks more fresh. So I don't know which one they're using. And that's right, up, right above the truck. Oh, there's a couple birds in the driveway. Look at that. Right there. I don't know which kind. Of, I don't know what kind of birds those are. Are those blackbirds? Oh, they're eating. I guess they're eating weed seeds from what I mowed yesterday there's some there's some turtle doves flying by yeah the turtle doves like to make their nest in these cedar trees i've noticed that late, uh, last year or years before they always make their nest in these cedars those two i don't know what they're doing be careful cat or bird a cat will come get you i've seen uh the cat uh eating uh birds now and then Yeah. Yeah, nice slow rain. I like this kind of rain. Now, I don't know if there was any big wind with the storm when it came when it started. But uh but well, this nice slow and steady now. Kind of rain people want for their crops. The neighbor's corn looks like it's pretty good. He was out here yesterday, a couple of days ago or yesterday, I forget when. At least it's, it's not yesterday, then the day before. He was there was a big sprayer out here spraying everything, probably for weeds. Uh, there's turtle dove up there in the par line, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well uh, that's enough for now. I'm gonna wait till it stops raining. I'll, I'll get something done today after the rain stops. All right, catch you later. There's that swallow nest over the back of the truck. And the other one is over there closer to the light. I'm not sure which one they're using. If, but, uh, but this one looks more fresher. Something tells me they're using this one. Because of that evidence. There's a lot of birds up there. They used to do that to my car when I think I had a car cover on it. And I used to have it parked here, but I sold that last September. Anyway, that's uh, from the birds. Well, it's about 10.20 a.m. on June 1st. And uh, I really can't work in the rain, but I'm going to drive down to the big patch. I want to see how the water is uh, draining off the road. That's my uh, that's the driveway entrance to the uh, big pasture. Yeah, uh, and if it ain't raining too hard, I might walk to the bridge to see how water's flowing there too. You can see how hard it's raining by the drops on the pond. Okay, let's head down to the big pasture and see what the, how the water's flowing. Well, it looks like most of the water is flowing right through here and going out where I want it to go. But some of it down toward the, more into the road is still making its way down that little stream there. So, yeah, so there's water flowing both sides of the post, white post. So I'm going to have to bring some rock down here and rechannel that somehow. Or at least fill in that 
right there. I can see water flowing through there. So it must be coming from the rest of the road. But I can't dig a ditch in the whole road, so I'll uh, figure something else out. I'll just add some rock there. I think that'll help. But not today. Although uh, it's raining, so I guess I, don't, I may not put the cattle in here today like I planned. But maybe tomorrow. Okay, we'll see. I'm gonna go check the creek. I think I'll back up to the gate this time. Yeah, so it's easy to get out. Well, water's not over the bridge yet, but it's getting close. Yeah. Yeah, I figured we had about an inch of rain so far. But it's been a slow rain and I'm getting wet. So I just want to check the level of the creek here. I think that debris is from the last time it flooded. Uh, rain, so I'm gonna knock that off. That'll work. Yeah, I've cleaned it off, so if it does flood, I'll know. Okay. And the stuff I just knocked off is right there. It already floated downstream. Yeah, water's high here. I'm glad I didn't. Well, I can't let the cattle in today. It's too wet. Tomorrow's supposed to be a sunny day, so I'll wait till. I'll see if it dries up enough tomorrow to let them in. One day won't hurt them. Okay. I'm getting wet. Not too wet, but I'm still getting wet. So I'm going to go back to the house and wait out the rain. It should be over sometime this afternoon. Uh, it's around 10.30 right now. Okay. Okay. I just want to get a Fork rid of this. Okay, let's go. Uh, it's wet, but it's not too wet for me. Yeah, it's a light rain. But wet is wet, so I gotta get back to the house. Well, it's 11.30 a.m. And the storm is already passed, so the sun should be coming out pretty soon. Yeah, as soon as the sun dries up a little bit, I'll start working on that, uh, that more wheel again. Okay, see if I can fix it better this time. Well, it's still raining just a little bit, and I can see a deer way out there, somewhere there. Yeah. Yeah, someone right about there. It's a deer out there in that cornfield. I can barely see it though. But I know it's there because it keeps moving. I guess it's eating corn. I don't know if it's watching me or it's watching that house. Anyway, uh, it's still raining us a little bit, but uh, it's almost over. Yeah, I want to see if I, can, if I can pull that thing out of there. I can uh, start working on that a new one. Uh, I'll just make another one, uh, but I got to modify the next one a little bit to uh, make that wheel hang on a little better. Okay, let's see what I can do. Still raining a little bit, but I can feel the sun trying to shine through the clouds. I can feel the heat. Yeah, I can feel the heat of the sun shining through the clouds. But uh, I got I can't get that out right now because. The bolt got bent, so I'm gonna try to I gotta try to hammer it back somehow. I'm not sure how yet. But I gotta try to do it. Uh let's see what I can do. I gotta see if I can hammer that back hammer that bolt back straighter enough to get it out of that hole. Get it out of that tube. Well I took it out of there. I hit it with a two bore four and a, with a sledgehammer because uh, I didn't want to scar them threads up any more than I had to, but I, I'm probably going to have to cut that bolt off anyway just to get the rest of these nuts off because I got to reuse those nuts. Uh, I'm going to make this one a little bit longer so I have more thread to work with on the other end. But I'm going to have to modify it somehow because. Uh, uh, 
I need to improve on it a little bit. But I think the main problem is this, the metal in this bolt hinge, hinge bolt, or whatever you call it today is, is that not designed for this type of uh, hold the wheel on. I think the metal's too soft. That's why it bent so easy. But anyway, I'm gonna try to fix it again. I think my best bet is to buy some type of bolt or something uh, or, or some kind of pin that's the right size for that that thing and uh, see where I can go from there yeah we'll see I gotta figure something out okay but I'm gonna try to repair it again see what I can do well it stopped raining but still overcast I think the first thing I'm going to do before I fix the bolt or the thing that goes in there I'm going to take this top take that nut out drop it down uh, at least two holes because I want that I want the bottom back of this more to be higher up off the ground so it don't drag and I want the wheel to be on the ground all the time I don't want it raised up all the time I think that's how it gets spun around so, yeah so I'm gonna, at least two two will take it about halfway okay from the bottom to right in the middle I think that'll work I don't know what the temperature is but it's awful sticky out here oh sweating it's so humid okay it took a that bolt was so hard to get off even with WD, it was hard to get off. The threads were so stiff, sticky. But I got it. Now I got to use sledgehammer to drop that down a couple notches. We'll see. Well, I dropped it down. Well, it was actually in that hole before. Yeah. Even though this shows it was this high, the hole was actually was that bolt was right there, so I had to drop it down two. I dropped it down two holes, it's more or less in the middle now, so I split the difference. I don't want it too low, and I don't want it too high. So, but it was way too high up here. Yeah, it was high, too high. Wheel wouldn't even touch half the time. Okay, as I say, most of the time. So, yeah. That should be better. Okay. Let me tighten that up now. Okay, I got that bolt and that whole bracket for the uh, tire moved down two holes. So that should be pretty good. I got three holes above and three holes below. So it's right in the middle. So we'll see how that does when I get the whale back on. Now I need to clean all the grease off of this thing. See if I can do anything else. Well, I get the grease off. My plan this time is to... I'm going to remove a few washers because I want the bolt to be a little longer. And then... Because uh, uh, I have more thread to work with when I put the nut on the end. And uh, I still have to adjust this to make sure it's at the right length from there to there. Yeah, I gotta make sure that's just the right length. Yeah. And uh, I'm also gonna put a, a tube over this, between this these nuts here, so there's no chance of these nuts coming down and moving. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have them evenly spaced. To, although that's where I think the uh, grease fitting was, that's why I put it there. But uh, it's not that important. I'm still gonna, Space them out pretty even. Okay, the trick is down here. Yeah, this is the problem area because this has to this has to buy this has to bottom out in the in the on the wheel. And the, there's a little hole in the uh, wheel bracket that attaches to the wheel that has to bottom out and then. When, that, when you tighten the bolt from the bottom, it pushes against this one. So 
the wheel turns, but this shouldn't turn. Uh, I don't know what the problem was. These nuts came, these two nuts, I had two nuts, one big one and then another one. Uh, but I don't think I have any more of these big nuts, so I'm gonna have to, I got some more of these small, these nuts here, I got some more of those. So I can put them on, on, their, on the bottom. So, I gotta figure out how to secure these nuts here better. Okay, uh, see what I can do. Make another one. And if that don't work, I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, get something uh, stronger. Yeah. But that's the size of the hole at the bottom of the, uh, uh, that's the size of the hole in the bracket on the wheel. Uh, so, but, but it's not, but this fits down in there and then this, this goes through that hole. So, that's the size of the, this here is the size of the pipe, which is about an inch, I think, or something. I, I measured it once, I have to measure it again if I have to buy something. But we'll see. Let me work on it. I think this is part of the problem here. For these these two bolts. This one, this one, this bolt has to bottom out on the bracket on the wheel. The little pocket. But and then, then there's a a hole that goes that this goes through. But then uh, I think these two turned. I think that's what caused it to loose but these two nuts also came loose so that's what that's why it fell off these two nuts came loose but uh actually the whole the whole shaft is supposed to turn and not and not these nuts so i gotta figure out how to lock them in at the bottom of that hole the bottom of that bracket so we'll see well it's about 2 p.m on June 1st, 2024, and uh, uh, I got a little progress done on my boat. Oh, well, by the way, the sun came out. Yeah, 2 p.m. the sun just came out. Yeah, it's been overcast, but now, now the skies are clear and I, I saw the sun come out. So, and just about when I got ready to test something on that new boat that I made, uh for that wheel so let's take a look at it i still have some work to do on it but uh i got something done yeah with that with that lower down that should raise when the wheel's on the ground that should raise the back end up because the back end was always too low and when the back end was too low so was the front so now i can keep it up higher off the ground I can actually raise the front up a little bit higher than the back. That way, it cuts. It cuts. Uh, it'll cut easier in the beginning, and then as it gets to the back, it'll be a little shorter, as short as the as short as the where the wheel height is. So I'm hoping that's going to work better when I start mowing again. If the wheel stays on, that is okay. The bolt that I worked on. It's about the same. I had to leave this in here. I couldn't take any more out because uh, this is an empty spot here. The threads start right here. So that's why I had to leave all these. Uh, but I put a spacer in there. It's a metal pipe. It's got, looks like it's got a rubber coating, but that doesn't matter. And uh, I broke my hacksaw uh, when I was cutting the other one off to get these nuts off. Uh, broke my hacksaw blade. So I didn't have any uh, new ones. Or spare so I'll have to get a, what I used I used the grinder to cut it off but I don't want to use a grinder on on this to cut it off because uh, it's gonna be hard to get because I still got I still got to get two more nuts on after I after I thread this through the through the uh, wheel the hole in the wheel housing the wheel bracket so well, I can at least put it in and, t and uh, measure it uh, on the on the end there to see how much I got sticking out because I got to have a little bit sticking out because there's a little pocket in that thing. I'll have to show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the housing. That's the bracket for the 
wheel and then this goes through. I said I got to cut some off. I got to cut some off, but uh, the bolt's too low. But the end of that, those nuts on the end there, they go into that, they go into that hole there, and then, uh, uh, which would, and if that's, and if they're in the right place, if they're in the right place, uh, this thing is right, is the right length, then, uh, then they should uh, hold the, hold this away from the. away from the uh, bottom plate there of that that thing there so so it won't be too tight between there and there but I can't do nothing until I get this cut off I could cut it off with the grinder but then it might be hard to get the nuts on it uh, I may have to because I can't I don't have a hacksaw blade that I can find anyway yeah uh, well I'll see what I can do well, it's hard to see, but the distance from the top of this bracket here to the bottom of the thing, because that's where the nuts are going to be tightened up against right there. So that's, uh, and then, and the other nuts on the end of the bolt are going to be going through here, but there's a thickness thickness of this washer here, whatever that is, which is about a, which is about an eighth of an inch. So this is, this is measuring somewhere around inch and an eighth, a little bit less, maybe an inch and sixteenth, one sixteenth. So I have to figure out how much, how much, uh, where that's going to go on the bolt, because the bolt's going to, those nuts are going to sit down into that seat down in there, and then the bolt's going to sit through. So I'll need, I need enough to, I need like an inch and a half. Oh wait, I got different nuts. Uh, so I have to figure out how much thread I need uh, to stick down to get the thread, to get the bolts on, get the nuts on. Okay, I'd like to have a lock washer too. So I might, I might, I might get a lock washer when I buy the uh, hacksaw blade to cut it off, cut that bolt off. Okay. Well, I got some th more thinking to do about it. Okay, I'll come back to it later. Well, I measured underneath there. Those nuts stick down about an inch and an eighth. Ugh. About an inch and an eighth from the bottom of that plate there. So that's about right. So maybe I'll try cutting that bolt off. Well, I tried to simulate the... Uh, uh, the end there. This here symbolizes the the thickness of that. There's a the metal between here uh, between this thing here uh, between that uh, where, where that sits down into a little pocket. That's how thick that metal is that between that and and the uh, underside. So this washer would be on the outside, and then I have two nuts on it. I wanted to put a lock washer there, but uh, I'll, I'll try it with that. And then uh, I, that's the two nuts that I have to work with. Uh, and then I need to cut it off somewhere here, and hopefully it's not too long, because I don't want it. If it's too long, then it's going to hit the tire, so we don't want that. So, but. What I like to do is to be able to drill a hole through there and put some kind of clip in, either a cotter key or something that will lock them nuts on so they don't come on, so they, they don't come off. Because that's what happened to the last one. So if I can drill a hole through there, I need to get a bit a drill bit that will drill through that. Drill through there and put a cotter key or something in. I got plenty of cotter keys, I just don't have a drill bit. But at least none that I can find. I can't find it very much. Uh, my workshop's not very organized. Anyway, that's where I'm at now. I need to cut something off here and still leave enough room for a, a 
a little a cutter key to go through. So if I cut it off there, I should be okay. So let me try that. I'll try to use, cut it off with the grinder, see what happens. So I got it cut off. Then uh, I I just put this washer and that on to symbolize because I, I put oh, that's hot. Cut it off with the grinder. So this nut will symbolize the place where I'm going to put the cutter key. If I can drill a hole through there. Yeah. Actually, uh, might even be possible to drill a hole through the last the last bolt or the last nut. Yeah, I never thought of that. Go put it through there. And the but that would still work. Tighten them up tight and then put this washer on and put the cutter key in. Uh, that's a thought. Okay, well like I said. I could put the wheel back on just to see if it would work. Uh, but I don't know. I have to put it on and then have to take it off again. But I need to see if it fits. Yeah, I need to I need to do a fit test. Yeah, I may have to I may have to make some adjustments in, in these here. Yeah. yeah. If I need to if I need to shorten this here. Yeah. To make it, you know, a little tighter between between this uh, between this plate and the uh, plate uh, Yeah. So that the plate that uh, the plate that's going to fit th this will be the bottom of the uh, housing for the uh, the bracket for the wheel, and then this could symbolize the uh, the uh, the bracket down there that uh, above the wheel, which would be down there that will flange on there yeah 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 let me try let me put a give it a dry fit see if it fits well there's two ways I could well I, well, I need to raise this back end up so I get the wheel on to see if it fits uh, after I made that new bolt there well that bolt looks pretty long but uh, if it don't fit, I need to adjust it again. But there's two ways I could do this. I could crank that back, you know, shorten that third arm there on top, and uh, or I could start the tractor up and raise it up. But I think I'll try this way first. I don't want to start the tractor if I don't have to. Well, I got it fitted. I don't have it. Uh, I don't have it tight yet. I just got one nut on. I got the washer and uh, one nut on the bottom. But uh, I still have to figure out a way to. I want to put another a nut on. And uh, I want some kind of a. I need to drill some kind of a hole through the hole tree and then put either a cutter key or some kind of clip in. At least, I, at least I cut it off long enough, they're short enough to uh, won't touch the tire. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, I got it in there pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna try to tighten it again. Well, it's a little bit too loose. I got it tight on the bottom, but there's still a lot of here. Still a lot of play in it. See? See how that moves up? 
yeah, I gotta take it off. And uh, those last two nuts, uh, I go down to that, into that uh, uh, hole in this, in this bracket. Uh, I need to shorten them. I need to go up. So to do that, I got to take that spacer out, a uh, black pipe, and grind some of that off, and take about a eighth inch off. Yeah, I think that might help. There's a fine line between too short and too long. So I got to get it just right. I want some play in there so the wheel can freely turn this way around, but not so much that's going to wobble in there and bend the bolt. Okay, let me uh, readjust it. Yeah, I've got nothing else to do. It's too wet to do anything else, so I'm just playing with this. Not too hot. It's kind of cloudy and overcast still now. The sun kind of went away, and there's, there's still there's still blue sky, but it's a it's, uh, Cooler now, right now, since the sun went behind the cloud. So I'm gonna keep working on it. Well, I did pretty good for the first try, but now I gotta, I gotta shorten this. I gotta grind this one down somewhere, and then, uh, cause I gotta move this back about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, I think an eighth of an inch should be enough. Yeah. Uh, I can even cut some of this off of one or two, but I can do that last after I get everything set. I still need I still need to drill a hole through there for a cutter key or some kind of clip. Yeah, that'd be nice if I could. Well, I can't put a cutter key in there because I could put a set screw in if I wanted to, but that means I have to have something that's threaded. I can thread it in there. Uh, maybe they sell those. Maybe they sell a nut. They sell a nut that's th that's got a set screw in it. That would work. That would that'll keep this from turning. But I had got to have it sunk in because this this rotates. This can this can rotate inside that housing. Maybe on that wheel bracket. But anyway, that's where I'm at right now. I got to. I gotta shorten this, take this back about an eighth of an inch. And to do that, I gotta grind some of this off, that spacer. Okay, let's do that. So it's made it again. I don't know, it's 30, 4 o'clock, whatever. Anyway, uh, no, I can't go out there and work on it. I've, uh, I, uh, Took that spacer out and down a little bit off, but then I wound up grinding too much. So I cut another piece and I used a broken hatch saw to do it. That worked out okay. I don't know if anybody used a broken hatch saw. Right. Oh, it's raining pretty good now, though. I won't be working on this. I won't be working out there, though, but I can get that bolt put back together. That's a piece like that. I think that pipe made out of aluminum. So I thought about getting a better pipe than the one I had. That was the right size to fit over that boat. Oh boy! The water ain't soaking in, is it? I guess the ground is already saturated. Look at that you know, water piling up there. Coming down pretty good now. Oh well. Well, at least I'm undercover. I can at least finish put that bolt with that. Come on. Get that uh, bolt put, uh, put back together to get it off. Alright. I'll uh, keep working on it. A little out of the rain though. Look at that. I can at least, just after, just I trim those branches there, I can actually see my hay rake and my sycamore. My you know, nine foot sycamore. I belong, I belong to my dad. Uh, actually, it belongs to the farm. My seven footer is over there behind those bales. On the other side of that bale. Yeah. That's my seven footer. I use that most of the time when I was cutting hay. In the olden days. Uh, it's been more, but last, I think the last time I cut hay was with that one. So I think my 
my seven footer had something wrong with it. Whether I fixed it or not, I don't know. Anyway, just now I can see what, where my equipment is. But, they're doing pretty good now. Yeah. That's a lot of water. Well, before it quit, before I came up here, I checked the rain bucket this morning, and, uh, uh, and it was over, it was around an inch. And uh, with this, I'm sure it's going to be an inch and a quarter, or even an inch and a half, I don't know. Because it was still raining uh, when I came out here this morning. Uh, so we got a lot of rain. Okay. <coughs> well, I'm glad I didn't let the cattle out that faster with all this mud. And then too wet. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in the house because uh, I finished my boat. So uh, I have to dry fit it and do it tomorrow or after it's tough ready to do it. Because I don't want to work in the rain. Well, I'm getting a little wet right here, but wind's blowing, in, blowing the rain in here. I shortened that pipe there, I shortened that spacer, so, uh, and I brought this up about a quarter inch, so, uh, I'll, uh, do, when it stops raining, I'll, uh, it dries up, I'll uh, dry fit it in there, and that's one of the nuts that are going to go in there. The other ones are out, uh, I left the other ones out over there at the washer. So, uh, well, that's where I left everything. Yeah, and there's too much water to work there now, and it's still raining. It lit up a little bit, so, so it might be quitting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it comes again. Oh, now the wind's blowing again. Oh, yeah, I gotta go in. I'm gonna check the radar if, uh, if I get in there. Oh, still raining, but I see uh, clear skies over there to the west. So I think I'm gonna end here pretty soon. I wanna go check the radar, see what it looked like on radar. 3.37 p.m. Saturday, June 1st. It's uh, still raining outside and I just came in to check the uh, weather radar. See what, how much rain I was getting. Uh, it's not a very big storm. Looks like one of those pop-up showers. Uh, there's another one over there to the the, the the left small one yeah they're just pop up yeah they're small well it looks like some of parts of it got pretty much rain anyway uh all right that's what i got i guess i guess that's what was raining on me all right this uh radar shows 3 35 p.m so it was just a few minutes ago okay that's all I'll uh, catch you later. Well, at least I finished the work that I wanted to do, except for putting it, uh, dry fitting uh, the tire back onto the mower to see if my adjustment did any good. But I'll do that after it stops raining and dries up a little bit. Uh, 4:45 p.m. And it's still raining. This must be that second wave of rain that I saw on the radar. Yeah, this is that second wave. Yeah, yeah coming down pretty good now. This is my roof. Looks like it's my rainwater. Yeah. Got my temperature on. I'm collecting the rainwater. Okay. okay. Now this is that second wave that I saw on radar. What? That got an overblown. Yeah. But I'm not taking this. This theory just pours out. Yeah. Just off my uh, carport. Yeah. I do. I do save a little bit though. Over there, I saved that for the, for the cat. Yeah. And that's just overflowing. I think the gutter. I think the rotor came loose up there on top. It's okay. 
Yeah, this was a short little thing. Yeah, I don't think it's going to last long. Yeah, it's almost over now. Okay. So, uh, I'll uh, go back inside. Now, okay, do nothing outside today. Uh, at, least nothing, at least nothing in the rain, anyway. Okay. Okay, I'll catch you later. Yeah, the second wave came through. Yeah. All right. I think I'm clear now, though. Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait about an hour to let that water dry up before I go outside again. All right. I think the rain's over for now. Well, it's uh, 6 p.m. now. The sun's behind that big dark cloud there. I don't know if there's going to be any rain from that, but yeah, somewhat cleared up. Uh, it stopped raining about an hour ago, and then the water soaked in or drained off. So uh, I, I can put that bolt back in there and see if I see if it see if I fixed it better than it was. Okay, let's see what happens. Looks like the tree frogs are out. Making a lot, making a lot of noise. Yeah, there's one in the tree. There's one over here too somewhere. I haven't heard this one lately. Anyway, back to work. I'm uh, putting this Putting this back on to see if uh, how how good it's going to fit. I still have some more work to do on it, but uh, I'm dry fitting it now to see how it's going to fit before I uh, put it on for good. Well, look at that! Sun came out. Oh, I can feel it on my back. Yeah, there's my shadow. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, you can see the. Sun shining over there. Uh, look like it's going behind the cloud again. Uh, uh, there it goes. Yeah, there goes my shadow. My shadow left me. Uh, I've got to work alone again. Bye. Right, catch you later. Let me let me finish putting this back on. Well, it's after 6 p.m. But look how high the sun is. Yeah. Yeah. The sun will go down until after 8. This time of year. Sun's still pretty strong right now. Yeah, it's starting to heat me up here. Oh boy. But I'm working on the. Uh, I'm working on this wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and put both nuts on and tighten it up. Uh, I still, I still want to be able to uh, drill a hole through the bolt and put a some kind of cotter key in there or some some kind of clip in there. To, so them nuts don't come unscrewed. Yeah, because that's what happened to the last one. So we'll see how that works. See if I can get a, buy a drill bit and drill a hole through there and get a clip in. Sometime a clip or, or, or cutter key. So, something that will keep them nuts from un, unscrewing themselves as the wheel, wheel flips around while I'm driving it. Okay, I'm going to go back to putting that on. I want to get a picture of that sun portrait. With the sun up high and the uh, ground below. Yeah, it's just after 6 p.m. I say it's about 6.15. Something like that. Maybe 6.20. I don't think it's 6.30 yet, but it's getting there. Uh... Let me get back to work. Tree frogs are at it again. They're loud. Well, I got them tight, but I can't get them tight enough because every time I turn one, they both turn. So, and uh, I don't know if I did it right, but I got the, the it's the. Uh, Bracket to the from the tire is really tight up against that uh, one on top. 
it's, it's hard to hard to turn it. But that's what I want. I want it. I want it snug, but I just don't want to be able to. Uh, still want to be able to have the tire turn back and forth, depending on if I'm going forward or backward. So I think there's enough play in there where it will turn, but I still have to drill a hole. I still have to drill a hole underneath the nut, right underneath the nut, right underneath the nut, so I can put a, some kind of key in there, cutter key or something, something that will hold that on. And uh, it looks like the uh, bolt's too long, but uh, I think it's still okay. It's not hitting the tire, so that's all right. I'm going to try to turn that tire now. I don't know if I should turn it. Hold on. Let's see if I can turn it. That's why I was afraid of. That's pretty tight. Let's see if I can turn it with two hands. Well, I was able to turn it. It's kind of hard though. The only thing I could do is loosen up those nuts a little bit and it will turn easier but I don't want to make it too loose because when it's too loose I'm afraid the tire fell off but uh, this will work good if I'm rolling going forward but uh, like I said what I need to do is get a drill and drill a hole through that bolt there right underneath the nut so I have to buy some drill bits because I, I can't find any drill bits that I want to use. I know I got some somewhere, but I just can't find them. Who knows where they might be. I'll keep looking. Uh, I got some cotter keys that I can use. I'll use them as if I can get a drill bit the same size. That, that would work. So, I'll just have to wait and see. Let's see. Oh, I think in the meantime, I'm going to grease it. Because I didn't grease it before I put it on. Okay. Also gonna, I'm also going to lower it down. Oh, I got, the, got some interesting clouds on the west side there. Sun's behind the, the clouds. It's still pretty high. I think it's up there somewhere. Yeah, it's trying to shine through those lower clouds, but it's not reaching here. I can see the sunbeam now. See right there? Sunbeams, I like those. Sun, sun rays, sunbeams. Pretty cool. Yeah, I like, I like these kind of views of the sun shining between the clouds in the distance, yeah. I can see the sunlight shining through. Yeah. Well, I found a drill bit. It's a little bit bigger than I was used, uh, hoping for, but uh, I'm gonna see what kind of cutter key I got. Uh, see if it'll fit. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go find the cutter key and then see if this the drill bit will make it work. Uh, so. This is the uh, drill bit that I found, and the cutter key could be a little bigger, or the drill bit could be a little smaller, but it's, uh, it's what I got, so I'm going to use it. I can always get a bigger cutter key. i got to make sure I get that drill bit in the center of that bolt. I need to get in there. Uh, right underneath that nut, because I don't want them nuts coming loose like they did before. All right. Let's start drilling. Well, I got the hole drilled. Seeing, I believe that metal is pretty soft. But it didn't seem soft when I was drilling it. For all the shavings I got down there on the ground. Yeah, I know the hole's pretty big, but I cut a key will fit through there. And if I, uh, and if this works, I'll get a bigger cutter key. Wait a minute, I might be able to fit two of them in there. Let me go down, let me go get another cutter key. I, I think I'll fit two of them in there. Yeah. More the better. At least that'll keep the uh, nuts from uh, unscrewing. 
I don't, at least that's my plan anyway. Let's see how this works. Well, it's after 7 p.m. now. Just, at, just a few minutes after 7 p.m. And I found another cutter key. So I've got two cutter keys. And uh, I'm going to... I, I stuck, stuck them through there on opposite sides. So, so I can easier to bend them over on each side. Yeah, that should work. Let me go ahead and bend this one over first. On this side, then I'll turn the tire around and do the other one. Oh, well, that's one done. Yeah, I think I did a good job on that one. Two, two cutter keys is better than one on since the hole was big enough. Now to turn the tire around, get the other side. Okay, that's the one I got to bend over. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work. It'll keep that nut from unscrewing. All right. Hopefully that'll hold up better than the other last time I fixed this. And if this don't work, if it still falls off, uh, then I'm going to have to get a, a actual bolt, a bigger bolt at, at the right size for that thing. Uh, yeah, I'll have to look at the end of that, see what I can do. But hopefully this will work better than the last time. A tree frog in here somewhere. Big sound, tree frog. Huh, he quit. He quit. Huh. But anyway, I'm going to start recording. He quit. Anyway, this is, uh, this is what I got here. That should work. They might screw on, screw a little bit, but not too much. Uh, I'm going to try something else, too. I'm gonna tie a wire. I'm gonna try to tie a wire above the above the uh, cutter keys, so them nuts don't drop down any farther. Cause uh, I like to. This is this is pretty snug, and I want to keep it that way. Yeah. But uh, I can still turn the tire, so that's what I want. I want it snug, but not so tight that I can't turn it. But since I can turn it, that's pretty good. Let me find another wire. Oh, that's a weird, weird looking cloud. Yeah. Sun's, sun's somewhere over there. It's trying to shine through them cloud there. Uh, it's still hidden. But look at that cloud. It's white against the dark background. The, the, the uh, what do you call that? The uh, darker cloud in the back highlights this, uh, whitish cloud here in front hanging over those trees uh, pretty cool picture I like that I really like it yeah, it's starting to rain yeah it's starting to drill a little but I got my tire done I got the cutter keys in I wasn't able to get a wire in there it's too tight so the cutter keys must be doing a good job I should prevent them from uh, unscrewing themselves Okay, raining, so I guess I better quit. Follow my head. I'm going to get wet. Here I'm getting wet. All right. Here comes the rain. Uh -huh. How's that song go? Da 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 da. Rhythm of the falling rain. Da 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 da. I'll probably get copyright. Okay. That's all. It's a light drizzle. I'm done. All right, let's uh, go back to the Showing them more. Uh, I still have it raised up. I'm going to lower it down now. So I got the cutter keys in, and it's as tight as I want to make it. Uh, I can still turn it by hand. Uh, it's a little bit hard, but I think it'll loosen up over time. But at least with those cutter keys in there, they won't. Uh, the the nuts won't come loose like they did on the last one I put in, and the grease I put in on here on the top. It, it came out near the top. <laughs> I thought it would come out over here, but it went all the way up to the top. And uh, I didn't really see it come out the bottom, but I'm sure it'll, it's in there. The grease is in there. And then I greased the wheel too. Yeah. Yeah. 
So it's good to go. Let me lower it down now. Let's give it have a give have to give it a test run this. And it dries up a little bit. Well, as good as I can make it. Now like I said if that don't if that bolt don't hold uh and it falls off again or that bolt breaks or whatever uh, i'll have to look for a stronger bolt that's uh better suited for that type of stress anyway uh i also i made a few modification a couple of modifications to that one to that bolt that goes in i put some spacers in between the nuts in the middle and then i and then I, uh, and then I put cutter key. I drilled a hole underneath the nuts on the bottom, uh, and attach it to the bottom. And I put a couple cutter. The, the, my drill was a little bigger than the cutter key, so I was able to use two cutter keys. So that should hold it. That should hold the. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I made that bolt a little longer. The last bolt was pretty short. Yeah, that's probably why the nuts fell off. The vibration and. And I made this more snug too. I made this one more snug. And so it's the other one is a little bit looser and probably had opportunity to, at, at, to swing around and loosen itself up. And I also dropped that down two notch, two holes right there. I dropped it down two holes and put it more in the center. And because I wanted to raise this back end up when I'm cutting. So when, when I pick up the front end, when I pick up the front end, this wheel will keep the hole more a little, a little higher. And if if I don't like the way it cuts, if it cuts too tall, which I, I don't need it to cut too short, but if it does cut too tall, uh, then uh, I can always take that bolt out there, take that bolt out and, and raise it up one one hole. It was at the second hole and I, I lowered it down two holes. Yeah, it wasn't at the very top, but a uh, hole. But it was, it's on the second hole. But now it's one, two, three. It's now in the fourth hole, and I think there's three holes below that. So it's it's in the center right now. So I think this will work better anyway. Like I said, when I picked it, when I, when I picked that up a little bit. That'll pick up, and then all the weight will be on. The weight will be on here too. Before the, the weight wasn't on here so much because it was dragging on the bottom. Yeah, it was dragging on the bottom. So I may have overcompensated and uh, lowered it, or raised it up too high. But I can always adjust that bolt there. I got it off once. I can get it off again. But I'll see how this works. I'll see how this works. Yeah, if I. If I can only cut it that high, that's fine. Yeah. But if it's too high, I can always lower it down. All right. That's all for this. And uh, I'll have to give it a test run one of these days. See how it all works. Okay. I got the weeds out behind the house there. In the, in the, in the small pasture, I can cut them again. Because they're getting, getting growing back again. All right, that's all about this. I'm done with this today. All right, catch you later. Well, I guess when I go in the house now, I'm gonna be checking the northeast because there is a big dark cloud backing up over there. Building up, I mean, building up, is that what you call it, building up? Yeah, so I wanna see what, where that's headed. I would say, since it's over there, it more than likely it's gonna go northeast. That's my guess, because there's not much to the west, uh, and that's already northeast of me, so that's probably going to, or northwest, that's northwest of me right now, so that's probably going to head northeast. Looks like a big storm. Yeah, it looks like a big storm. The whole north there is, the whole north is full of clouds there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's really building up over there. I'm gonna check the radar. Well, I won't get no sunset tonight. Look at that. Look at the clouds built up there. 
Okay. Okay, I've seen enough. I'll, uh, I'll end it here. I got my work done on the more wheel done today. So now it's, because I want to mow with it one more time before I unhook it. And hopefully they can cut hay next week if the weather if the weather cooperates. We'll see. Okay. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. I don't know, just by looking at that, uh, it already looks like it's too high. Uh, well, I'll still give it a test run. Uh, well, maybe I'll maybe I'll lower it down. Maybe I'll, re uh, I'll lower it down one one hole. As long as that wheel holds up the back end, yeah, I think I think I can lower it one hole. Just to, yeah, I think that's too high. Yeah, yeah, I think I can improve that. Well, but I'll do that some other day. That bolt's easy to take out and, and put back in. At least now, after I got it off the first time. It was a little rusty the first time I took it off. But now I know which, what to use to get it off. All right, that's all for today. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Well, I'll uh, be checking the radar first, though, before I end it. Well, it's about 7.50 p.m. And... Uh, uh, rain said I didn't check the weather event yet, radar yet, but I checked the rain bucket. I got just a little bit over two inches. So that last that rainstorm in the afternoon, two of them, uh, uh, two of uh, oh cat, two of them in the afternoon that gave me another inch. So two inch, two and oh I guess a two and a tenth maybe. Yeah, it's over a little bit over two inches. But uh, before I before I called it a day, I went out to the barn. I saw another hole. I saw another hole inside the barn under the manger. And I covered it up. Then when I went out to check the trap, I got one. I got a I got a groundhog. It looks different though. It looks like it's younger than the two old adults that I picked. I, it looks more like a teenager. Uh, so uh, it could be one of those babies that that uh, survived. I don't know, but it looks bigger, a lot bigger than those babies that I that I caught. But anyway, uh, I didn't have my camera with it, and uh, I had to come back and get my uh, dispatcher. <laughs> yeah, because it's still in the trap. So I'm gonna go out and take care of it now before it gets dark. And it's hard to see, but he stinks. There you are. There you are. Yeah, I caught you. They're all wet, but they look different. They look different than the other ones. Are you related to these groundhogs that I caught here earlier this this spring, or are you are you somebody looking for a new home? Well, I'm gonna have to take care of you now. Yeah, I'm glad I caught you. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was digging holes to get in, not so much to get out. Yeah, but I'm glad he, I put some corn here, so that's why he, I think that's why he came in. But I'm going to take care of you, whatever you are. Yeah, because I can't have groundhogs in my barn anymore. Okay. Say goodbye. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you don't, if you want to end up like your cousins or your relatives, you should stay away from here. Okay, tell that to your other ones. I can't really, it looks smaller than the one that I caught before, the two. And it looks, and it's darker too. It's got a darker fur. Anyway, uh, I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to dispatch it. Okay. Then I'll reset the trap and wait for another one. Uh, all right, all right. I'll catch you, catch you later. Well, this looks to be a male. Yeah, this is a male. It's not. A, it doesn't seem as big as the other one that I caught before. Uh, could be a juvenile. I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm gonna turn it over. Yeah, this one's darker than the ones I had caught before. I caught those two adults in there. Yeah. Maybe he's darker because he's wet. Maybe that's why. I wonder. I wonder if this is the guy who's been eating my sweet potatoes. Could be. I bet he is. I bet he was eating my sweet potatoes. They're diggers, right? It's easy for him to dig them sweet potatoes out of the ground. Yep, caught my culprit. I didn't think of him. I wasn't sure if he was out here or not. I got him now though. Now I'm gonna set, reset the trap just in case there's still some more in that under the barn. Here you gotta get rid of my cut. I caught three adults now and six babies. Okay, so let's see if any more show up. Okay, that's it for groundhog. And another one. Oh, couldn't leave with that. I can see where the water flowed out over there. Yeah, I think it, flew, it went that way. Yeah, and this water come down. The water, some of the water come down this way. That's why it's muddy. Came out of that neighbor's field. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. Okay. I'm going to try something. Tree frog. Yeah. Anyway, I'm done for today. I'll end it here. I'll, I got to do the radar yet. To check out that. Check out that storm that's over that way. To the north. To the north uh, east. The northwest of me. North and northwest. There's north. But it's. I think it's northwest. I'll check the radar again. Boy. Boy. In this video. Well, I suppose that'll be food for the vultures. They gotta eat too. So just after 8 p.m. I think the sun's probably going down now. Can't see it, but I can hear this pond overflowing over here. Yeah, overflows in there somewhere. I can hear it over going through the pipe. Yeah. Yeah. Overflow is working and uh, I'm going to go in the house and check the radar and see how where that storm is headed. I think it's headed northeast. That's what I think. All right, catch you later. Well, this shows at 815 that storm to the northwest of me is now north of me. So I was right, it's moving north. It was moving uh, north east. So northeast or just east. But it, it's far from me, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Hopefully we got enough rain. I got a, just a little bit over two inches today. Alright, that's all for now. Uh, that's all for today anyway. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.